Oh hey, I was thinking of taking a break from playing challenging games, which is why I decided to play Bruce Lee Quest of the Dragon. It is the sixth generation of gaming. We begin with Sega getting an early lead with the release of the Dreamcast, but later on it didn't do well enough to beat its other competitors. The PlayStation 2 outperformed its other competitors in this generation and soon became the best-selling console of all time. Nintendo released the Nintendo GameCube, and while the GameCube did better than the Dreamcast, it didn't do well enough to outshine the PS2. But, there was one other company that stepped in the video game ring, one that changed the industry forever. Microsoft. Huh. Microsoft considered the PS2 a threat to the personal computer in the living room space. Consoles in this generation are getting closer to being as powerful as a PC, so Microsoft had to compete somehow against the PS2. But you see, in order to compete against the PlayStation 2, you also need a great library of exclusive games and not just a powerful console. You also need Shrek. The Xbox was released with 20 launch titles in North America, 12 launch titles in Japan, and 19 in Europe. One of which is the saving grace of the Xbox brand, Halo. Halo Combat Evolved was developed by Bungie. Before Microsoft acquired Bungie, the company concentrated on making video games for the Macintosh during its early days. Concerns were made during the development of Halo one of which was being able to play a first-person shooter with a controller. Playing first-person shooters with a controller was nothing new at the time, but it happens very rarely. Sure, we got Doom and Wolfenstein, but those games were tailor-made for the PC in mind. So with Halo being a first-person shooter and only playable with a controller at the time, this is new territory. In order to make it to the release, the team had to make cuts to the game's features. The open world plans were scrapped, they reused some of the campaign levels, there was an online multiplayer feature built in, but it was dropped and rebuilt from scratch because the Xbox Live wasn't a thing at the time. Through many efforts and low amounts of sleep, the game was able to release alongside the Xbox on November 15, 2001. While Halo was not an instant runaway success on release, the game sold alongside more than 50% of every Xbox console. Halo received universal acclaim and many great review scores. And even to this day, Halo is considered one of the greatest games of all time. So let's try this game out and see why is it so great. To start off, I'm not the biggest Halo fan. The first Halo game I played was Halo Reach, which is lore-wise the first Halo game. So I have some connection to the franchise. Anyway, let's play Halo Combat Evolved. We'll start with the campaign since that's the reason why I want to play and talk about this game. And since we'll be playing as Master Chief, I gotta get into character. So we begin with a little tutorial about the controls. I'm using Halo Custom Edition, which allows me to play using either a keyboard and mouse or a standard controller. Both of them have great controls, but I'm more of a controller guy. No! Tutorial man! Anyways, we gotta go to the bridge to meet Captain Keys. Yes, that's his name. Sleep well? I have no recollection whatsoever. So you did miss me. What did I just say? With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. Huh? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. So now we have Cortana inside our suit and now we have to escape the ship. 
You barely get any additional ammo for your rifle and pistol throughout the whole game, so what you wanna do is to pick up the enemy's weapons. Every weapon in the game is really good. I like the plasma rifle, which you can get by being the armor guys. The standard grunt aliens are nothing special, and they carry either the needler or the plasma pistol. The same goes for the aliens carrying shields. Sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? Lady, I've been sitting my butt in a pod for 20 days, I need a warm up. Alright, we've crash landed, and I'm the only one that survived, great. If you're on a plane that's about to crash, stand up, you have a 100% survival rate if you do. Anyway, we gotta search for some survivors. On the way, we discover some alien hideouts and infrastructures. The best part of this mission is driving the Warthog. Compared to your normal racing games, every vehicle in the game accelerates by pushing the left thumbstick forward. To turn around, you move the camera with the right thumbstick. Also, you can get a marine with you for some vehicles. So we rescued a bunch of marines, and now we gotta rescue Captain Keys. On to the next mission, we now have to board the alien ship where Captain Keys is being held. Stealth is an option here, do not do it, it's not fun. So we board the alien ship and fight our way through. <sighs> Coming here was reckless, you two know better than this. Thanks. Marines, lock and load your weapons, let's be ready to move. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it... Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon. One with vast, unimaginable power. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon, and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move! Yes, sir! Okay, sir! Chief, you have the point. Alright, now that we know Halo is a super weapon, we need to get out of this ship. So we escaped the ship and now we have a new mission. We gotta get to the silent cartographer, which is a map room for Halo. Somebody order a warthog! Hey, I didn't know you made house calls for Hammer. You know our motto, we deliver. I'm here! The best part of this mission is driving through an entire island in a warthog. Well, not the entire island, cause there are areas that you can't access with a warthog. There are multiple ways to progress and clear areas, so that sounds like a lot of fun. There. That hollow panel should activate the map. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. His ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Alright, we have access to the map. Now we gotta get out of here, find the control room, and rescue Captain Keys again. He really put himself in a lot of trouble, huh? Twice? This mission has a lot of variety. You can use every weapon and vehicle in the game. You can even use a tank, I didn't find it. But this mission takes a while to finish. Areas are repeated throughout the mission and sometimes it's easy to get lost, so it can get very repetitive. That terminal, try there. You alright? Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. The knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. What are you talking about? Oh, I meant the limited edition Halo onion ring. This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring, it's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. 
Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Are we talking about Halo or the Halo Onion Ring? The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. What? Captain, we've got to stop the Captain. At least explain. This cash he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. Lady, you're being scary right now. There's no time. Get out of here. Find keys. Stop him. Before it's too late. Alright. Why is everything so dark and scary all of a sudden? On the way to the facility, we encountered the Covenant running away from something. I wonder what it is. It's so quiet. What happened here? Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! I'm not a I'll wizard, Marine. Get away from me! You're, you're wasting your ammo. What was that? Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir, but it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Got a bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Sarge, can you hear me? What's going on, soldier? He's got contact! Blast them! But they're not coming in! They're, they're just staring through us! What the flow? No! Corporal! Do you copy? Over! Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't. There, Mira. Ah, ah, man, hold get still. Out. Hold get still. Out. Let him have it. Ah. Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Marine. Oh, this is loco! Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins! Ew, what is that? Nobody told me this was Australia. They have legs now? They have legs now. R2, we need to be going up, not down. They shoot now? They shoot now. This is a terrible joke. This is supposed to be Halo, not a horror game. Greetings, I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. No, you're C-3PO. Someone has released the flood. 
My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Alright, so we gotta follow C3PO to the index. This place is dark and easy to get lost. There are just so many enemies that it feels like they infinitely respawn. The shotgun is your ultimate ally here. Throughout the missions, C3PO would send in a squad of sentinels. Please follow closely. This portal is the first of ten. Ten? This is just like the other mission but more irritating. The flood takes much more damage to kill and will obliterate you. Also, this mission goes on and on. Areas are repeated over and over. Ah, it's over! Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the Index with the Core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Hog, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, really? That was sick. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throat. That's true, I died a hundred times trying to get the index. A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. What impertinence. I shall purge you at once. You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? I'll... Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Alright, that's enough. We gotta stop the flood, and the only way to do that is to activate the Halo Onion Ring. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. This is true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. You are unwilling to help. I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. Number 15. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Ah, oh, it's a covenant. Oh, I missed you guys. Alright, we gotta stop C-3PO and destroy Halo. First, we gotta destroy its pulse generators. This is also the mission where you can finally fly on the Banshee. This is really fun. Not fun. Alright, we gotta find the captain. He is inside the ship. That is a big nut. It's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. Home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. Can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time! 
human history, is it? Fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. To think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record. I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? Detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. Why not manually blow the ship? Okay, I'm coming with you. We gotta destroy the ship's fusion reactors. The only way to do that is to throw a grenade at them. Be sure that the flaps are open so that they can be destroyed. The Flood and the Sentinels are trying to kill you in the process, so be careful. Alright, all of the fusion reactors are destroyed, now we gotta get out of here. It's Warthog time. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in launch base. Finally, now I can rest and finish my onion rings. So that was the campaign. Overall thoughts? Really impressive for a game in 2001. The graphics may not be over the top, but they look great for a game in this generation. The reveal of the Flood is undeniably well thought out, starting out as these ominous beings being revealed as powerful monsters. Throughout the last few missions of the campaign, we're not only facing your standard Covenant grunts, but we're also facing these monstrosities. It really feels like we're stepping into an unknown alien world, and Halo nailed that completely. Now on the multiplayer side. There are only two ways to play with other people, split screen and system blink play. Split screen multiplayer is outstanding back then in this game, that it is on par with what GoldenEye 007 did back in the Nintendo 64 with 4 player split screen multiplayer. People would bring their Xbox and TV to their friends' houses and play Halo with them. This is where the term LAN parties was born. They had such an impact on the gaming community. Multiplayer is one of the core identities of the Halo franchise. There's just so much stuff to do here in multiplayer. There's just so much stuff to do. There's just so much stuff to customize. Yeah, you can customize your own game mode if you want to. There's a ton of fun content here in this game. Without Halo, the Xbox brand would have been left in the dust 
long ago. Halo does not only affect Xbox as a whole, but it popularized multiplayer gaming for first-person shooters. So I had a lot of fun playing Halo. I was amazed by its beauty and charm, and this is definitely one of those timeless masterpieces of a video game. And now we're back to reality. 